Mm-hmm, slugging. Does it work? Does it help you to get glass skin? And does it reverse aging? Stay tuned and you will find out more. Okay, so just a quick intro. I am almost 50 years old, ladies and gentlemen, yes. <laughs> I am also a successful model and beauty queen. And um, yeah, so this is a great secret I'm sharing with all of you beauties out there. Mature ladies, 50 and wanting to look 10 years younger. So what is slugging? Slugging is using or refers to using a petroleum-based product at the last step of a skincare routine. So what petroleum product am I talking about? <laughs> Ta -da! It is Vaseline. Okay, everybody has Vaseline. Most households do have it. I grew up with it. My mom used it. My household had it for many, many years. And yeah, we, but I typically mostly use it for the lips or, you know, the crack heel or um, any, um, you know, when you have dry cuticles. Yeah, but I never once thought of it as using it for my skincare. And yes, I've been using this and it has been helping me to achieve beautiful skin, moist, plump, um, yeah, especially now since I turned 49 and turned, you know, and reaching 50. This is an unfiltered video. No ring lights, no special filters, just me and my camera and the bedside lamp. All right. So what do I do? What do you do with the Vaseline? Basically, dabble on, okay, probably a thin layer. I, I like to do it step by step, so I would dabble some on my cheeks because these are the most, um, you know, like the dehydrated areas. I like to use quite a fair bit here, a little bit on my eyes, and some on my forehead, and also on my neck, okay? Because, you know, we as we mature, we get a lot of crepe skin, especially in the neck area. So I really prepped my skin. I had I put some serum, some you know moisturizer, and now I'm doing the final step and slugging my skin with some Vaseline. So basically, you just you know rub it on all over, massage it in, all right. And um, I also do my upper lids because it gets a bit dry and dehydrated and a little bit itchy if it if it's uh not um, hydrated well for me anyways and under my eyes okay a little bit on my nose and basically just massage it into your skin okay okay and on my jaws ladies guys our jaws are starting to sag okay when we turn 40 and now at 50, I am very, very particular about massaging my jaws. I don't want to have saggy jaws, jaws. And um, I've never had filler on my jawline either or any facelift. Okay, I do have a bit of fillers under my eyes, um, a little bit on here, the orbital area and um, a little bit on the laugh lines okay so yeah just massage it in and um, you can stay tuned on the next video where i'll do a full massage for my face um, how i keep youthful and keep looking my best all right so this is wonderful so before I proceed with the finishing touches, I just wanted to say and share some experiences that I've had recently. So for those of you who are wondering, what's this lumpy thing on my under eye, right? So a few months ago, I had a, a eye trough filler with Juvederm, okay? And I've done fillers all through, I mean, the rest of my face with, uh, I've tried Juvederm, Clavel, and also Elance, and I've never ever 
experienced this kind of um, traumatic experience with a filler until a few months ago. So ladies who are thinking of getting a eye trough filler, do do, do your research. Um, I believe I did not do enough research on it and I regret it now having it done. So as you can see, I did, I did it here, the eye trough filler on both eyes, okay? This one turned out all right. But this one was ha has been giving me problems and it was swollen when, after it was injected, the filler was injected. And as you can see, the puffiness keeps resurfacing like every other month. I mean, I go and get the Hyalase injections to, to, to dissolve it and then it'll keep popping up again in a few months. So th this needs to, to get some treatment done and I'll get it done uh, when I'm you know back home in Singapore. I'm currently overseas in Saudi Arabia um, with my uh, doctor and practitioner. It's not the fault of the doctor. It's not the fault of the filler. It's just my, my own body reaction to, to the whole thing, right? So, um, just wanted to share this little information and uh, yeah, so that not another one of you will have to experience what I experienced. So yeah. <laughs> okay, and once I'm done with it, I let it sit on and I sleep with it. And by morning, your skin will be so supple and so dewy and you know, just very hydrated. But for me, because I my T-zone tends to get a bit of um, pimples sometimes, so slugging is not um, for those who have acne-prone skin, for sure. Um, something that you might keep in mind. Um, but I, because I do get a few spots, you can see there's some here, I like to just tap it, the excess, on my only on my T-zone with a tissue. Okay, and that will prevent any breakouts, all right? Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, give it a try. You do it, you know, for me, it's every alternate day, sometimes every day, depending on my skin. So, you know, you know, see your skin, see what it needs. If it needs a little bit of oomph, a little bit more power to your product, you know, slather on and um, the Vaseline and you will see a difference the next day for sure. And, um, but mind you, do not use, try not to use, um, you know, Vaseline and the slugging technique if you're using any retinols or vitamin C because it will increase and enhance the potency of the product. And if you have sensitive skin, it will cause an allergic reaction. So this is not a sponsored video, okay? Um, it's just me just sharing with you um, beauty tips that I've learned and experienced these many years. And this is a wonderful product, Vaseline, um, you know, for the household and, you know, for your slugging and also for your lips. And, you know, you, you can look at this other video on how to have that perfect pageant smile with Vaseline too. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is bedtime for me now. And uh, yeah, I hope that, you know, you know, you will like and subscribe to my channel and find out more beauty tips and fashion ideas in the future and as I travel the globe worldwide. So see you. Good night. Bye.